Okay, guys, I'm back finally. But it's been the feedback from majority of the um, people that when I post a video on YouTube has been really good. But it's been some really negative comments, and I do delete them. I mean, because by all means, if my videos is not for you, I mean, there's got ton of other information, videos, search the internet, do whatever it is that you have to, but no rude and, you know, just nasty, downright comments, I'm going to keep on my videos. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, if you feel like you need to leave something nasty or rude, this ain't the video for you. This ain't the channel for you. Because I only do this because I know when I first started out how hard it was for me to get information. So, I mean, I don't mind putting anything out there. I don't mind answering questions. But I will not respond to rude comments. I mean, I, I won't tolerate it. And um, what else I had to go over before I get into this tutorial? Um, I mean, if y'all need to know anything, y'all can always follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on my personal page, that's Pamela Brazil, or you can follow me on my business page, which is Blessed for Creations on Facebook and Blessed for Creations on IG. So, let's get to it. Okay, in this tutorial, I've been asked a lot when I post on my regular page or in groups, how do I get my pretzels to look, you know, so thick or whatever, and how do I add the lines? So, what better way to show y'all because... I'm doing an artist unicorn, of course. And so I just show you. Okay, let me sh let me tell you everything you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need brushes. You're going to need three because I'm only going to be doing three colors. So you're going to need three. Two of these are from Wilton and the other one I think I got from the dollar store. Okay, you're going to need the chocolate, of course. And I already made the horns. And I added some little details, little flower pieces to them. Okay. And I'm also going to be showing you how to splatter. Because when I dip the pretzels, I'm going to be adding splatters. And this is um, Lusted Us, Petal Dust. I'm sorry. And I'm going to leave it in the description box below where you can order it from. But it's all edible, so that's a good thing. Okay, you got your lustre dust, you got your your pieces, your horns, your flowers, you got your chocolate. And this is just um almond bark. I had already melted it because I had already did strawberries and Oreos. Okay. And you're gonna need your pan line with parchment paper. And this is how I do my how I do mines, I lay them flat. I mean, some people, you know, sit them up right because they don't want the flat bottom, but I don't mind it. Then you're going to need your pretzels. Okay, my pretzels are in the freezer. And the reason why I have them in the freezer, because it let the chocolate sell them quicker. And you're also going to need some kind of cup or a glass, a tall glass, and I use this glass, I'll show you, because that, when I add the um, chocolate to this glass, it's easy for me to just take a pretzel and dip it, and then lay it flat, okay, and you're going to take your chocolate, and I'm going to add it into this glass, And I know the camera's not positioned right. I'm going to try to position it right. Let me move some of this. And this are, these are the presses that I use, the presser rods. 
Thursday. You can get them from Walmart. The Dollar Tree. Actually, I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday to get them because they're a dollar and they like, what, $2.98 from Walmart? But the truck didn't come in, so I guess I'll go back, I guess, this weekend. Okay, I got my pressures on my pan, and I got my, my glass of chocolate. And what you want to do from here is you want to take the, the pretzel, dip it in the chocolate, take it out, let the excess drip off. And I keep my other bowl that I originally had my chocolate melted in, and I take it, and I just shake it over the bowl. And then scrape the side of it on the bowl. Then I place it down. Take it. Twirl it so you can get an even line at the bottom. Bring it out. Shake it. And then place it down. Take it. Take it out. Shake it, place it down, and I'll do this last one, and it don't take long for this to set, because like I said, I placed my crossers in the freezer for a few minutes. Okay, I'm sorry about that y'all, my camera just cut out completely in the middle of me um, talking, but I went ahead and dipped the rest of them. And I placed it in a um, refrigerator for like two, three minutes, just so it can get a little cold. So I'm I'm gonna double dip. I always double dip everything. I don't know why I just do. I think it make it look better. Sometimes you can thin your chocolate out too thin, and it make it look like it's transparent, you know, see through or whatever. And I don't like it. So to avoid that, I just double dip mine. So I'm gonna take it. And that way, it make it look um, thicker also. And look, I just broke this. But I guess I just have to do another one. Take it. Tap it easy. Don't do what I just did. Tap it too hard, then it'll break. And place it. One more. <coughs> Excuse me. And place it. And as your chocolate get hard, or starting to get hard, you'll see like lumps in your chocolate. So just throw it. Don't continue to dip. Just re put put it back in the microwave for 30 seconds, or not even 30 seconds, like 15 seconds until it's completely melted again, and just start dipping again. So I'm gonna get all these dipped for the second time. Fix the one that I broke, or re-dip, get another one and dip it. And I'll be back to show you how to add your lines. And I forgot to mention this, but this is the bottle I use. I get this from Michael's. And it's by Sweet Sugar Bell. I think that's how you pronounce it. But you see the tip on it? This will add perfect lines to your pretzels. And I think these was like... About $6.99, $7.99, somewhere around that price. But it comes with two in a um, pack. So let me get all these dips and I'll be back to show you how to do the lines. Okay, now that I've double dipped the last and final time, this is how they're going to look. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to add the lines. The next step. 
I went on ahead and added my chocolate to this. Okay, you're gonna take a parcel, get it over the bowl that you originally melted chocolate in, and you're gonna take this, and you're just gonna squeeze out, and you're just gonna go back and forth. This do take some time, but the outcome is so pretty. And just go back and forth. However, I mean, you can have these lines however you want it. If you want it wider, spaced apart, do so. And this is how you add the lines. And then you're going to place it down. Pick up another one. And see when you have this bottom on there like that, just take your knife, the back side of the knife, and just cut it off. Just shave it off wrapper. Like that. Okay, you're going to take your bottle, your sweets bottle, drip, and just go back and forward. You gotta have a steady hand though. Okay. Take another one. You gotta have a real steady hand. Just squeeze back and forth. You can make the lines as close together or far apart as you want to. I mean, this is totally up to you. Like that. And you add these lines the same way to strawberries. I mean, to whatever you want to add lines on, you add it on. And I just shave the excess that was dripped off when I placed it. Just go back and forward. Sometimes you can turn it like this to get it on both sides. Just keep turning it. So the lines can go on, I mean, all around. Like that. I'm going to do one more. Take my knife and get this excess. To just shave it off like that. Okay, squeeze. See how my lines getting crooked because my hands starting to shape. Back and forward, left to right, right to left. That's how you do it. So I'm going to get all these with lines on it. And then I'll be back to show you how to add the splatters. And put the unicorn, the horns on them. So stay tuned. Okay, in this next clip, y'all, I had to redo it. Well, try to fix a way to talk through it because as I was going to upload it, I realized it didn't have a sound in these next two clips. So all I'm going to be basically telling you in these clip, in this next two clip, is what um, about the petal dust and lemon extract and how to um, just apply it. But hopefully that you can see it. Me showing you instead of me talking through it. And once again, I apologize, but I'm using petal dust. I'm using three colors, turquoise, pink, and purple. And I'm also using lemon extract. You can use um, 100 proof um, alcohol 
or you can use quick dry solution by Rokum, which I like that too because it dries really um fast and well. But I use lemon extract; it works good for me. And you can also during the season at Sam's they carry them. And they also carry the 64 ounce of camo syrup, so you might want to head to your Sam's because I know my Sam's only it only comes during the holidays. But anyway, all you do is take a little of each um, petal dust, luster dust, or whatever dust that you're using, and just apply, just add some into a, um, a container, a bowl, a cup, or whatever you may be using, and start with a little lemon extract at first because you don't want it too runny. And you don't want it too thick. So, you know, just start with, you know, a little at a time, a little drop at a time to get it to the consistency that you want it. And that's basically all I'm um telling you in these next two clips. So hopefully that you can um see what I'm showing you and just get it from there. And once again, I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know what happened. So I guess, yeah, I don't know, y'all. I'm lost for words because I was just about uploading this video when I noticed it wasn't no sound. So, and I couldn't do it all over again because I had already got this order shipped out. Not shipped out. The woman picked it up. So hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. And as you can see now, I'm just mixing the pink up. I added a little, um, a little to the um, bowl and I added my lemon extract. And I think I did it too thin on this um, thing. I think I added a little bit more of, of the petal dust in. So I'm just about to... It's all about wrist work, y'all. Because you have to flick that brush. That's how you get your splatters when you're flicking it. I mean, sometimes I can't flick. Sometimes I can. I don't know. But you just take your brush and you just flick it. Like you just... Just like you getting water out of a brush or are you just trying to I don't know but just flick the brush on it and that's how the splatter's gonna come about so yeah I hope y'all enjoy the rest of this video and once again I do apologize but as you can see in this clip I'm just flicking just flick your wrist and as you flick it you just turn it turn with your strawberry, your parcel, your apple, whatever you're using, whatever you're doing splatters on. So y'all continue to enjoy this video and just watch the next clip.
Okay, I'm back. But now I'm going to show you how to add the unicorn horns on. And I'm going to use the same um, squeeze bottle that I added my lines to. So all you do is you start right here. Put a little line up. And you take your horn. You just add it like that. Then you place it down. Then you get another one. Then you do the same thing. And make sure it's as straight as possible. And that's how you add it. And those are the strawberries I did. Okay, so I'm going to get all this, um, put all the horns on and get this box up. It should be here in a couple of hours. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, and this is the finished product. And I added a little, see the sparkly? I added a little flash dust. And you get this from Never Forgotten Designs, I think that is, on Instagram. But I also leave that description in the um, description box also. And that is 100% edible. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And whatever questions you have, please leave it in the comment section. And I will answer them. So, y'all be blessed. Y'all have a safe and a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you and your family. And I will be posting uh, the video to the apples because I'm also doing apples so that video will be posted also so stay tuned and i hope y'all enjoyed thank you for watching and thank you for supporting mm -hmm. all that good stuff so to the next video see you later y'all be blessed